ओम शांति ब्रिंगिंग आवर अटेंशन टू द सेंटर ऑफ द फोरहेड सींग योर सेल्फ देयर divine being divinity purity is my personality please say this to yourself and feel the energy of purity being my nature purity flawless selfless unconditional giver This is my nature. It's who I am. I am a divine being. bring on the screen of your mind someone you know who needs strength who needs healing emotional healing a family member my child anyone you know who needs power bring them there not as a face not as a relationship but just another soul another little star there a little star who is in pain crying for love needing acceptance and now I the divine being radiator give up of love and power see yourself radiating power to them it's just energy flowing from i the soul to them see it happening not just think see it happening vibration flowing from me to them I understand them. I empower them. Oh. 
hold that scene on the screen of your mind. Energy flowing from either soul to them. And then power flowing from me, not just to one, but to everyone I know. Everyone at home, everyone at work is just a little star. Bring all of them like a little cluster of tiny point of light. Everyone I know is this energy and see power from me radiating to them. I empower them. I energize them. I accept them unconditionally. How many could see the other one as a point of light? This may seem just too simple. How is it possible? to empower someone by just creating this thought that I, the soul, am radiating power to them. And as I create that intention, that feeling, and along with that, I visualize energy flowing from me to them. But when it is from me to them, it's not a parent to a child. It's not a role to a role. It is always a, a, a soul to a soul. So just a very, very simple visual. One tiny point of light here and another tiny point of light there and energy flowing from me to them. How many can do this? Easy, simple and then the next one either point of light here and now not just one here, everyone I know, everyone. Energy flowing from me to them. Simple. Can we do that? Yes. So from healing one to healing all I know to healing, how can we make it get bigger? Now who all will we have in front of us? First we had one soul, then we said all the souls I know to 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 I the soul radiating power to each soul on this planet can we do this every day can we do this every day yes and when I'm radiating power to each soul what's going to happen to me What's going to happen to I, the soul, as I radiate power to every soul? What's going to happen to my power? 
it will increase. It will increase. When we pray to the Divine, all of us say, Sab ko shanti do. Bulte na? Sare vishwa ko shanti do. Sare vishwa ko sukh do. We pray, we have that pure intention. But while we ask the Divine to give love and power to all, we with our own emotions sometimes may be giving the opposite. Yes? Yes. So it's not just asking God to give power to everyone, but it is using God's power to give power to everyone. So just adding your own self into the picture. So third step, now not just from me to them, but from there to me and then from me to them. So we're bringing one more star in the picture. Who's that one more star? Okay, now this visual ko lekar ao. There, here and there. Now create that diagram. Where is the energy flowing? From the ocean of love, the ocean of power to me and from me to them. Close your eyes for 10 seconds. See this happening. And then you'll be able to do it with eyes open. But just now, just create that wish for the ocean of love, the ocean of peace, Sarva Shaktivan, the Almighty Authority, the Powerhouse. God's power flowing to me. And from me to them. You can visualize a red light, you can visualize a golden light, you can visualize a white light. From God to me, from me to them. The more it's like a little exercise, like physical drill. The first time if I have to bend and touch my feet, I might not touch my feet the first time. But I start bending and bending and bending and it's going to start happening. So what we are doing since yesterday in every meditation, we are using three powers because we all want to be clear with our meditation before we leave on Monday, right? So we are using three powers and the three powers are the three faculties of the soul. Man, Buddhi, Sanskar, the mind, intellect and Sanskar. So we saw yesterday when soul power is less, mind creates a lot of weak, negative waste thoughts. Intellect is not able to take quick, accurate decisions and sanskars are where's the vibration? what is sanskar? sanskar is a habit but not a outer habit like eating, drinking but an inner emotional pattern, a habit anger is a sanskar irritation is a sanskar forgiveness is a sanskar Holding on to things is a sanskar. Samaj me aga? What is a sanskar? Right? So what is outer? We say adat, habit. And what is an inner emotional pattern? A typical pattern. So like somebody gets hurt very easily, upset over trivial matters. So we will say, ye iska sanskar hai. This is their sanskar. Now, the journey of Raj Yoga is from shifting to our lower vibrational sanskars, shifting to our higher vibrational sanskars. Just put both your hands out and let's be very clear which one are lower vibrational sanskars, which one are higher vibrational sanskars. So I'll just keep saying out the sanskar and you put it on the correct hand. The left hand will be the lower vibrational sanskars, which are uncomfortable, unhealthy unhealthy for the mind, for the soul, unhealthy for the body 
and the right hand will be the higher vibrational sanskars. And when you put it on whichever hand you choose, just lift it a little bit to see. Let's see which one we have selected, okay? And the rule of the game, not to look at other people. They may be putting it on the wrong hand and we'll make a mistake if we look at them. Take care. Okay. And every word that I'm sharing is a sanskar. So you're going to get that recorded here. These are my sanskars. Okay. Stress. Anger. Happiness. Patience. Ego. Irritation, forgiveness, compassion, comparison, competition. Which one is that? Which one is competition? Pakka karo. Pakka karo. Which one is competition? Left. Acha. Hurt. Self-respect, empathy, understanding other people, jealousy, insecurity, attachment. Which one is that? Which one is that? Okay, how many say left? And how many say right? And how many have not put up their hand for either of the two? Kyun? Un dono mein se ek to choose karna hoga. Attachment, love. So there are two words. Attachment, love. Two words. So if two words, two different emotions. You know? So attachment is on which hand? And love is on which hand? Right. And yet, most part of our life we have lived saying that attachment is? Attachment is? So any emotion, any sanskar which depletes the soul, left hand side, any sanskar which empowers the soul, right hand side. Criticism? Talking about people's weaknesses? Gossip? So what is the purpose of life now? So often there's a question, what's the purpose of my life? The purpose of my life is to live my life through the right hand sanskars. That's the purpose of my life. Because when we say, what's my purpose? My is the soul. I'm talking about what's my purpose. We are not saying, what's my role's purpose? They're two different things. We say, I'm doing this, doing this, this is the purpose of my life. This is the purpose of my role. But we didn't know I am the soul, so I kept finding my purpose in my role. Purpose of the role is different and my purpose is different. So if you choose the purpose of your role, then your purpose is to use that purpose of the role with right hand sanskars. Let's say somebody is a doctor, purpose of their life to heal people. But if they are healing people creating stress, creating anger, then they are fulfilling the purpose of their role. But the soul is getting, but the soul is getting depleted. So now, using the purpose of my life and coming into the purpose of my role, which means my every sanskar will be from which hand? Right hand. And when I am using the right hand sanskars, in my every thought, word, behavior, what's the energy that I'm radiating out into the world? Higher energy. And as I'm radiating this higher energy out into the world, what am I doing to everyone around me in my energy field? So each time I use the left hand sanskar, what is happening to this battery? Dip. And as this battery gets dipped, every other battery connected to me is getting affected. What's the vibration of the planet right now? Right hand, left hand. And if we don't do anything about it, where would it be five years from today? 
where is it going to move which direction because we have created a world which is calling the left hand sanskars as normal what are we saying stress is normal anger is normal acha worry which hand worry worry chinta chinta main aapse itna pyar karti hu isliye chinta hoti hai aapke which hand so you going to go back home and tell your children i never worry for you what is worry going to do every time now it's very easy now to check what is worry doing which quality thoughts iska kya hoga kaise hoga aage kya hoga waise kaise hoga every thought what is it doing to soul power dip 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 creating thoughts about who my child radiating which quality thought to them lower what are we doing to them say it what am i doing to them what am i doing to them i am depleting them shift to care care is which quality thought so now change the thought remember yesterday think right so instead of thinking iska kya hoga change chalo chalo bahut easy hai saturday ho gaya kal sunday last day hai ye seekh ke jana hai iska kya hoga now change iska sirf acha bahut acha sirf bahut acha you have the power to create the highest vibration thought and the higher you will go the higher you will go the higher you will radiate what are you going to do to them empower so now this is moral responsibility that my thoughts are not just my thoughts i cannot just go on thinking whatever i want inside and say kisi ko thodi dikh raha hai what i am thinking but every thought that i am creating is not just my emotional health it is radiating to everyone around me depleting them and then most important radiating into the collective vibrations of the planet and bringing the energy of the planet theek hai so am i allowed to create irritation no to aaj se khatam there's a little story which we learn at the center it's very sweet and it says ke there was a fire in the jungle bada jungle tha and there was this little sparrow and what would that sparrow do that sparrow would go to the ocean there fill a drop of water in its beak come there and drop it on the jungle now visualize that sparrow there filling that drop of water come and throwing it on the jungle and aise and aise and aise and aise kuch fayda hoga kuch fayda hoga hoga nahi hoga hoga nahi hoga not to the fire but to the sparrow acha why not to the fire will do their own karma so somebody asked the sparrow ke he chidiya tumko kya lagta hai tumhare ye beam boond boond pani se ye jungal ki aag bujh jayegi to chidiya ne kaha jab itihas likha jayega tab teen tarah ke log honge kaun se teen tarah ke log honge three types of people ek jinhone aag lagayi the ones who are the cause of the fire so which are the sanskars which are the cause of the fire on this planet so every time i am creating that lower vibrational sanskar i am creating the fire on the planet the fire of vices vikaron ki agni jal rahi hai duniya wo vikaron ki agni mein kehte na gusse ki agni ye jal rahe hain gusse mein kehte na ek krodh mein jal rahe hain so that is that fire vices so the chidiya says ek type ke log honge jinhone aag lagayi dusre type ke log honge jinhone aag ko jalta hua dekha and teesre type ke log honge jinhone aag bujhai to chidiya ne kaha mera naam aag bujhane wale logon mein hoga 
नहीं अभी नहीं अभी नहीं अभी नहीं मेरा नाम कौन सी साइट पे होगा तीनों में से कौन सी साइट पे होगा ये बोलो अभी फिर अपने लिए ताली बजाओगे तो अच्छा है चिड़िया के लिए नहीं चाहिए चिड़िया के लिए ताली नहीं चाहिए देखो सुन के ही अच्छा लगता है यू नो जस्ट इज लिसनिंग वी नो इज जस्ट अ स्टोरी वी नो दो चिड़िया हु डिड दिस बट इवन जस्ट लिसनिंग बिकॉज इट अलाइंस विद ह्यूमन नेचर इसलिए हमें अच्छा लगता है वो इट अलाइंस दैट दिस इज माई ट्रू नेचर This is my true nature. आग बुझाने वाली is my true nature. But today we have shifted from our true nature. So what we heard yesterday was, and which we are practicing, reviving our consciousness that I am not all this. I am that soul. And every soul is on a long, long journey. Every soul is created five types of sanskars. It's very important to know this. Then understanding people, understanding self. and creating beautiful relationships will become simple every soul is on a journey because its energy energy can neither be created nor be destroyed so when i die what happens i die so when so died so what happens energy cannot be created cannot be destroyed mitti ka sharir mitti mein mil gaya right so human being human humus mitti ka sharir mitti mein mil gaya being atma eternal ajar amar avinashi the fire cannot burn it it's eternal it never gets destroyed so where will this eternal energy go that eternal energy would just leave one costume enter the womb of the mother and after a few months baby born and the world says ke khali haath aaye the khali haath jana hai we came empty handed we will leave empty handed is that true no why will they say we came empty handed leave empty handed because everything that i can see with these eyes i cannot take with me so make a list what all i cannot take with me when i die kya nahi leke ja sakte everything i earned everything i achieved all my degrees my roles my positions my family and not even my costume i cannot carry any of these with me so what do i take with me my sanskar and my karam because that is getting recorded here and i the soul with all that recording of sanskar and karam enter into the womb of the mother few months later baby born and the pandit ji will make a janam patri how many of you have a janam patri go back get it checked what does it have to say about you that janam patri was created on the day we were born so that janam patri is the first april of our life opening balance sheet it's the opening balance sheet and so the pandit ji will tell you this is good this is not at the age of 10 this will happen at the age of 20 this will happen these 5 years are not good this 7 years are not good these 2 years are very good how do they do all this because this is the opening balance sheet everybody knows the opening balance sheet because the opening balance sheet is identical to the identical to the closing balance sheet so my last moment in this costume my last thought in this costume all those transactions my karma my sanskar everything getting recorded here out from this body that was my 31st march closing balance sheet every karma every thought every feeling every sanskar recorded there and so hum khali hath nahi jate hain हम कैसे जाते हैं कैसे जाते हैं बहुत भरे हुए जाते हैं नाउ जस्ट विजुअलाइज व्हेन यू लीव दिस कॉस्ट्यूम व्हाट वुड यू लाइक टू कैरी विथ यू क्या लेकर जाना चाहेंगे लेफ्ट हैंड संस्कार और राइट हैंड संस्कार एंड एज विल बी द संस्कार सो विल बी द कर्मा 
So if I create irritation, I've created that karma. If I get angry with somebody, I've created that karma. If I'm creating critical, judgmental thoughts about somebody, I've created that karma. If I'm holding on to somebody, something on my mind, not forgiving, I've created that karma. Imagine I'm holding resentment about somebody and I leave the costume. I did not settle it, I did not clean it, I did not forgive, I did not bless and I leave the costume. What goes with me? What goes with me? That hatred, that resentment. I the soul, born in the new costume, little baby and the parents think a blank CD has come to me. Now I can make that child whatever I want. No, the soul has come not blank, full, full with sanskars and karma. So when should we forgive people? When should we forgive people? Because I don't know when I'm going to leave. Suppose we come to know, what's the time now? Around five. So if we come to know we're going to leave at ten tonight. Ready to leave at ten? No. Ready to leave at ten? So many people don't get five hours. We don't get time. I can go to sleep tonight and not wake up tomorrow morning. And what if I had an argument with my spouse before going to sleep? What if I typed some very strong messages to somebody before going to sleep? And then I don't wake up. I, the soul, will carry all that karma baggage with me. And then in my new costume, I will not know why I have that sanskar. But I have that sanskar. So it's very important to understand why I am the way I am and why they are the way they are. So every soul is carrying five types of sanskars. It's like five bundles of sanskar. So visualize this like a CD with five folders on it. The first folder past birth sanskars. You should know all these five, always keep them with you. So whenever you say, I cannot understand this person, just open the diary, which one of these five sanskars is this person carrying? And it will become so easy to understand them. And when I understand them, I can accept them. And when I accept them, I empower them. Expectations which hand, left or right? All this will remain the same from Monday also, na? Huh? Don't go back to left hand then on Monday onwards. It's very easy. Once I have clarity, which one is right, which one is normal, then it's just a little attention for some time to shift from the left hand to right hand. And then I will start vibrating at the higher energy. So first folder, past birth sanskars. The maximum number of sanskars are in this folder. Because I, the soul, I'm not in a journey of one birth, two birth, three births. Many, 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 many births. Every birth, different parents, different family, different environment. I don't know which country, which city, which religion, which social background, family I was born into. And different situations in my life. And different responses from me, which means my sanskar and my karam. And let's say I lived in that costume for hundred years. 100 years, out, next costume, next environment, 100 years, out, next costume, 100 years. Can you see that long, 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 long journey? How many sanskars? So that folder has the highest number of files, past birth sanskars. Second folder, family sanskars. Family sanskars, sanskars from parents, sanskars from family. And keep checking your sanskars while you're writing the folder. Which sanskars do I have from my family? So the time that the soul absorbs the sanskars from the family, the highest time is when the soul is in the womb of the mother. The womb of the mother is a very, very, very powerful time. Why it's a powerful time? Because the soul is in a detached state. The, the, pow the time when the soul can absorb the highest is when a soul is in coma, so when if you ever know someone who is not conscious is coma, don't think that they cannot understand you. They can understand you more than they could ever understand you before. Ever before. They can catch your every thought, your every feeling, your every intention. 
because at that time the soul is disconnected, detached. Then, when the soul leaves the costume, highest catching power, highest catching power. And that's why we were taught that when someone goes, they don't say anything bad for them, 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 because they are detached, out-of-body-experience. We all have read books, no, about people who had out-of-body experience. So what happened to them? Someone is on a surgery table, has an out-of-body experience. They know everything that the doctors were talking in the medical terminology, which is not their vocabulary, but because they were out-of-body, they could absorb and catch every single thing. So when I, the soul, leave the costume, highest catching power. And third, when I'm in the womb of the mother, highest catching power, because I'm still not attached to the next costume, to my next role, nothing. These three times we are detached. And now the fourth time that we are going to practice is when we practice meditation and detach from this body, highest catching power. Of course, still not as high as when we are completely out of the body. So, garab time, the womb time, is a very, very powerful time. And so when we were in the wombs of the mother, our mother, our mothers were taught to take care not just of their body but also of their mind. Achha achha dekho, achha achha padho. So, hamaari mummy ko koon si photo lagane ke liye bola tha saamne? Kis ki photo lagai thi? To kaha Shri Krishna ki photo lagao, Shri Ram ki photo lagao, Devi Devtaon ki photo lagao, aisa bacha aega. And there we arrived. Yeah. We are today still because of a lot of care they took. But Ajkal ki mummy ki ski photo dek rahe hai. Ajkal ki mummy, or isme sirf mummy nahi, mummy papa both are responsible. Kis ki photo dek rahe hai. To jis ki photo dekhenge means the thoughts that the parents create, the feelings they create, what they watch, what they read, what they listen, what they speak, what they eat, what they drink is not just creating the health of that body, the costume, it is creating the sanskars of the soul. So the most powerful sanskars are garab sanskar. Abhi Manyu ne kaha sikha tha? Chakravyu mein kaise jana hai? Garab mein. Fourteen years later, Abhi Manyu knew how to get into that chakravyu, what he heard in the womb of the mother. But he didn't hear in the womb of the mother how to come out. So this is not just a story to tell us, it is to tell us the power of that time in the womb of the mother. So if there is any sanskar which is something which you don't have answers, why do I have this? Once in a while sit with your mother and just ask her her nine month experience. Many answers are lying there. Just ask her, how was your nine months? What was going on in your life at that time? What were your emotions during those nine months when I was there? And if you are a mother, now check that. And so those who have two children, they can see the difference in the sanskar of the two children because of what was going on in their lives in those two nine-month period. So even if we are in the initial phase of our career, let's say, and we are tight for money and we're thinking all about money, how will we manage, how will... Be careful, the soul in the womb of the mother is suddenly feeling, I don't have enough money. How will I manage my life? We feel it is our thought, but it, that thought is getting absorbed by the soul. Thirty years later, you will find your child wealthy, very rich, but always feeling, I don't have enough money. How will I manage my life? You will like, what is your problem? You have so much money. Say, no, 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 what if I don't have this tomorrow? And the soul will not know, why am I feeling this thought? Why am I having this sanskar? Second folder, family. Third folder, environment. Environment, sang ka rang. Friends, relatives, and today, media. So when you're choosing a school for your child, be very careful, because that's where the third folder gets influenced. That's the third folder is going to get influenced there. So always keep the criteria, I will choose that school and then those friends who will create high energy vibrations 
and those kind of sanskars for my child. Very important criteria in choosing education and schooling system right now. But we say, no, 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 everybody's child is in that school, even my child will have to go into that school. Be careful. Padhai to har jage ho jayegi. Sanskar kaun se banne wale hai? Sangh ka rang kaun sa wala hai? And aaj kal to hamara media is sangh ka rang. So that's why we saw yesterday, what is the quality of the content? Right content for right thoughts, for right sanskars. Fourth folder, willpower. Willpower. So irrespective of whichever sanskar I have carried from my past life, from my parents, from my family, from my environment, I can change any sanskar using my willpower. And so many of us have changed a lot of sanskars and those sanskars are in the fourth folder, willpower. And now fifth folder, most important folder. These four folders are sanskars which I create on this journey of life after life. But the fifth folder is the original sanskar of every soul. And there are seven files over there. Right? Sat sanskar. Now you can write the names of those seven sanskars. Purity. Peace. Love, power, happiness, wisdom, bliss, pavitrata, shanti, pyar, suk, shakti, gyan, anand, satoguni atma. So what are we doing in Raj Yoga meditation? We are tapping the, we are tapping the fifth folder, fifth folder. So every soul has all these five sanskars, but look at any soul on the planet and ask them what they want. They want the fifth folder. Even if someone is waging war, they either want power or they want peace. Everyone is using their own methods to get it. But each one is wanting only that fifth folder sanskar because that is the original nature of every soul. So it's like my body is made of five elements of water. When that balance is not right, I said, I want water, I want water. I take one glass of water and I'm fine, comfortable. Today we are saying, I want happiness, I want love, I want peace. The truth is that it's not I want, it is. It is not I want, it is. It is I am. It's not I want. It is not going to come from anywhere outside. So now these five folders are like five playlists that you have of songs on the CD, on your phone. So I have five playlists, different songs in those five playlists. And when a situation arises, I have to select the right song for that situation. So I could have got anger from my family, I could have come with ego from my past life, but I am a pure, divine, powerful, peaceful soul. So what I am doing in my Amrit Vela in the morning, I am reminding myself, I am a pure soul, I am a peaceful soul. By reminding myself, which file am I touching on? There. And when I do that in the morning and I keep remembering it during the day and then here comes a situation, I have choice to pick up anger from one folder, patience from another folder, I have the choice and now I know which one to pick up. Because I prepared myself in the morning for that. So meditation means yoga in the yoga in the morning, karam yogi during the day. Preparing, activating that folder in the morning, taking a pause for one minute every hour to take care that okay, I'm taking out the songs from that folder and there comes the stimulus and I will respond through my fifth folder. 
practicing for some time and after some time responding through the fifth folder will come natural. So I'm going to change my sanskar from this to this. Important is to know that I don't need those sanskars from outside. They are my sanskars. I only have to bring them into action. Now look at other people through these five sanskars. Why are they the way they are? How can they do this? How can they behave this? How can they be like this? They are not just your children. They are not just your spouse. They are a soul on a long, long, long journey. How many of you are couples here? Look at your spouse if you are sitting with them. Look towards them. Look, look, look. Now don't look at the face. Go into the looking at the center of the forehead. And just see that little tiny point of light there. And now just see, this soul has been with me for the last X number of years. But before this, another environment, another family, don't know what all happened in that lifetime with them. And before that hundred years, another one, and another one, and another one. And I'm looking at them and saying, how can they be like this? They should not be like this, they should be like this. And I'm saying expectations are normal. They should be my way. Because my way is the... My way is the... Now why we are not able to understand each other's sanskars? Because the sanskar that I have, I will be able to see the situation only through that sanskar. So let's say, for example, a simple sanskar like punctuality. How many of us have this sanskar of punctuality? Acha, everybody has it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No, everybody doesn't have it. Everybody has it. But everybody has a different definition of that sanskar. So if we say, who has the def uh, sanskar of honesty? Everybody. But everybody has a different definition of honesty. Trust, everybody has a different definition of trust. So for someone, punctuality would mean 4 o'clock is at what time? 3.45. That is their definition of punctuality. Another one, 4 o'clock is at dot 4 p.m. And the third son's option is, 4 o'clock is at what time? Which one of them is right? Which one of them is right? 3.45, 4 or 4.15, which one of them is right? How many feel 3.45 is right? I also feel that. And you know why we feel that is right? Why do we feel 3.45 is right? Okay, how many feel 4 dot is right? And how many feel thoda bot to? चलो हाथ उठालो तात कुछ भी गलत नहीं है इसके अंदर हाथ उठाओ ये गलत नहीं है it's not wrong raise your hands how many feel four five four ten is fine ठीक है now always remember this which one will I raise my hand for I will raise my hand for that is right with sanskar I have because I don't have the other sanskar so because I don't have the other sanskar, I will never understand that other sanskar. And I will look at the other person and say, how can you come at 4.10? And the other person is saying, I am also wondering, how can you come at 3.45, yeah? <laughs> so then I will say to them, because 3.45 is right. And the person says, why? You don't have anything better to do, so you're coming and sitting here 15 minutes before and you're calling that right. And then we can fight over which one is right. Which one of them is right? Now, your spouse could have the 345 sanskar and you could have the 415 sanskar. So every time we have to go somewhere, every time we have to go somewhere, we are going to have a difference of opinion on what is right. So what do we do? Change them to 415? Or change ourselves to 345? Acha, bring both to 4 o'clock, is it? Beach me. 
just to understand that I am comfortable with 345 just because that's recorded here for me. But the other soul cannot understand what is 345. So don't look at them and say, how can you be like this? It's not some manufacturing defect somewhere. How can you be like this? What is weird for us, what is strange for us is normal for them because they have that as their recording. So acceptance means to understand that this soul has carried that sanskar from somewhere on the journey, some conditioning, some family taught them that 415 is fine. And so that child picked it up. Then when that child was 100 years old, left the costume, came into my family and so for that soul 415 is right. I can gently help each other to change to another sanskar. But to help the soul to change to another sanskar, I have to first be non-judgmental about their present sanskar. If I am critical and judgmental about their present sanskar, I am depleting them. And if I deplete them, they will never change their sanskar. So my first step has to be to accept their sanskar. But to accept their sanskar, I have to understand their sanskar, why they are like that. Now 415, 345 is okay, doesn't make much of a difference. But when sanskars like one has a sanskar of trust, other has a sanskar of doubt. One, sans one has a sanskar of faith, the other has a sanskar of insecurity. Becomes very difficult. At every step it starts becoming very difficult. And then we say, how can they be like this? So we have to shift from questioning who they are to becoming compassionate that this soul somewhere on the journey has created this sanskar. Instead of questioning their identity, I will heal that pain in them. In the last one year, there has been war in countries, there has been flood in our country, there have been earthquakes, before that there has been COVID. Just look at the different ways in which souls leave the costume. So visualize. Earthquake, flood, war, soul leaving the costume. What would be the state of mind just before leaving the body? What is that final antamati so gati? Antamati so gati means your final state just before leaving the costume is influencing your gati, your destiny age. So can we visualize what would be the sanskar that will get recorded just by leaving at that time? What would happen? Fear. What else? Pain. Yes. What else? Hanji? Anger. Yes, okay. Insecurity. Imagine, imagine to see your child slipping out of your hands like this. Like this. And then you leave the body. So what's the last thing that got recorded? Fear. Fear of losing people. So things are not as simple as what we look at them. Mera bacha aisa kyun hai? Wo bacha nahi hai. Soul on a journey. We don't know what they saw last just before coming here. And what got recorded there? Fear of losing people. Fear of death. Fear of going to a hospital. Now what is our role? Now what is our role? Now when you start looking at people around you, you will start understanding. Why are they like this? They've carried, something has happened in some time, in some lifetime. We all understand fear of water, fear of heights. So we say, ha, theek hai. something must have happened in some life. Some people have fear of trust. They don't want to trust people. Why are they not able to trust? Because sometimes, somewhere they trusted. And what they got in return was betrayal. So like, if I leave the costume in a flood, what will get recorded here? Water is equal to pain. But if I was betrayed, what will get recorded here? Trust is equal to pain. Now I fear trusting people. But my spouse is loyal, very honest. So the spouse doesn't understand that I have the fear of trusting people. My spouse says, how can you not trust me? 
I have never done anything wrong. And there we go. So please understand, it's not about me. Their sanskar is about them. Don't get hurt. Don't consume that energy like this. And how can you do this to me? It is not do this to me. It is why are you like this and what can I do for you? So any pain that I am carrying and any pain that any soul around me is carrying is a scar, is a wound which was created in some costume, was not healed before they left. But it's a soul on a journey. We can heal the wound in any costume. In any costume. So are we ready to heal them? Are we ready to heal them? Yes? Can you close your eyes and bring them on the screen of your mind and just see which sanskars you were having a problem understanding? Just take one person or two people. Most sanskars are beautiful. But some things is like, how can they be like this? Why are they like this? We kept questioning their personality. And we even said it in words, Aap aise kaise kar sakte? Aap aise kaise ho sakte hai? Now just look at them. They are not just my child, my spouse, my sibling, soul on a long journey. They have gone through something which I don't know and they don't remember. They don't remember. But something has happened somewhere which has created that wound, that sanskar, that thinking pattern, that behavioral pattern. They are not doing wrong to me. They are in pain themselves. We are not a victim of their behavior. They are a victim of what they are experiencing. So shift from feeling that my life is difficult because of their pain to understanding that my life is about healing their pain. We are family. Like we take care of each other in a physical wound, in a disease, I am going to start healing them from today. And the first step to start healing is no more questioning how can you be like this, but understanding I understand why you are like this. Question is answered. So I understand. Say sorry to them for all the times I have created this thought. How can you be like this? And now, say to them, I understand you. This is power. You know when someone sits with us and just says, I understand you, what comfort it gives. That there's someone who understands me. Say, I understand you. Second line, I accept you. Which means I'm never going to question this sanskar ever. Ever. I understand you. I accept you. Now third, most important, I bless you, which means I heal you. And how will we heal them? Now you will write that personal for yourself. Whatever power you feel the other soul needs. So let's say the soul is experiencing insecurity, the soul needs faith, the soul needs the sanskar of trust, the soul needs a sanskar of acceptance. So send the blessing to that soul. You trust people. It comes natural to you. Just send that blessing to them. You trust people. Till today we have said, how can you not trust people? 
And by saying that, we only rubbed that wound. And by rubbing the wound, we only added pain to their pain. And today we are going to say, you trust people. You are a powerful soul. You are a loveful soul. And just this one thought is healing that wound. Like we shifted from stress is normal, anger is normal to I am a peaceful soul, I am a pure soul. Same I have to do with other people. You are a peaceful soul, you are a powerful soul, you are a loveful soul. Just check the wound and then apply that medicine. And choose one of those seven sun scars is going to be the medicine. One of those seven. So if it is trust, acceptance, it's coming from love, so you are a loveful soul. When a person doubts or is insecure, there's lack of love. So, four thoughts. First, I understand you. Second, I accept you. Third, I bless you. And fourth, your personal blessing for that soul, depending on what they need right now from you. Okay, Ji? How many were able to find something that the soul needs, someone around you? You see? And now once you have this on your mind, you will be able to find a lot. We have no idea what souls have gone through and so on. Just look at people around you today, like look at people's lives. There is so much happening in everybody's life. Even one lifetime it's difficult to understand. So imagine multiple lifetimes what souls have gone through. And that is why sometimes people go through a past life regression to heal themselves. But we don't need to go through that. We don't need to go through that. Because even if I come to know what I have done in the past life, why I am feeling like this, the healing I still have to do in the present life only. So why do I need to go and find out? I just need to know, yes, something had happened, now I have to heal it. We don't need to go through a past life regression because the power is not in the past, the power is in the, the power is in the present. It's like I was walking, I hit this table and now I'm limping here. And now you see me limping. Your role is to just take care of that limp, heal me. You don't need to find out how I hit myself because that's nothing to do with it. So I do not need to do a past life regression to see but how did I hurt myself, but how does that matter? It doesn't matter how I hurt my foot. Important is what do I need to do with that foot now. So do not need to go through a past life regression ever. Don't need to. Don't play with nature. Nature said, I need to forget. So let's live in harmony with nature. Don't try and go in the past. Get the tools to heal in the present. So you can heal yourself like this and you can heal everybody else around you. Now this is not just about your spouse, about the elders in your family, but that baby who comes into your life. So we are saying, why are children doing like this today? How can they be like this? They are not children. They are one of us who leave the costume, go there and baby born. So if today I am living my life saying stress is normal, I am depressed, I am this, I leave this costume, so what? What type of a baby do you think is going to be there? Emotionally very strong? No. So what's our role? What's our role? Our role is to empower them. And how will we empower them? How will we empower them? How will we empower them? The higher we go in our power, we will empower them. The time has come where almost everyone around you will need power. 
we've reached almost the lowest vibration of the planet. Covid, the vibration even dipped because two years, millions of people all over the world together said fear is normal, stress is normal and we just radiated so much of fear and anxiety on the planet that Covid got over but that fear and anxiety is still there. So the vibration of the planet is dipping and that's why this era is called Kalyug. So Char Yug hai. Like 24 hours cycle of time, 365 days cycle of time, then there is a slightly bigger cycle of time. Morning, afternoon, evening, night, time is cyclic. It's only going to repeat every 24 hours. It's only going to repeat every 365 days. Three, three uh, spring, summer, autumn, winter. Now a bigger cycle. And that bigger cycle is Satyug, Treta Yug, Dwapar Yug, Kal Yug. Golden Age, Silver Age, Copper Age, Iron Age. Abhi konsa Yug? Abhi Ghor Kal Yug. Ghor Kal Yug. Ghor Kalyuk means when all the vices are at its peak and when those seven qualities are at its... that is Ghor Kalyuk. How would Satyuk be? Simple, na? How would Satyuk be? Very good. Reverse of that. Absolutely. Just the opposite. Satyuk means every soul would be naturally soul conscious. Today we've reached a stage, throughout the day we hardly remember I'm a soul. Do you remember every day while you're working I'm a soul? No. Only two times we remember. When somebody leaves the costume and when we go for a bhoot wala picture. Atma bhatak rethi. Aise. Sara din mein to yaad nahi rehta ke mein atma hoon. So that is the lowest. Moving from 100% soul consciousness to 100% body consciousness, ego consciousness. 100% soul consciousness to 100% body consciousness, ego consciousness is this cycle. But iske baad ab kya hoga? What next? Morning, afternoon, evening, night, pitch dark. Uske baad? Morning, dawn, awakening, awakening. So why are we here? Why are we here? We are awakening. We came in that darkness thinking that stress, anger, fear, normal and we are awakening to the truth that is purity, normal, love, normal, acceptance, normal, faith, normal, healing, normal, humility, normal. So now draw the swastik here. We all know swastik? That is those four parts, the four aspects of time. Draw that symbol. It's called swastik. Swaka Astitva, my identity. Take it, Kese draw karte, Ese, 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 Ese. Take it. And once we draw the swastik, we put that bindi, point of light. One, Dalo kaha lagate pele? Ese ni kahi bhi laga sakte. How do we do it? First here, then here, then here, and then here. We are saying, I the soul was here, then I the soul was here then I the soul was here and now I the soul am here. Now the first part of the swastik, hand is like this. Please keep your hand like this. That's the first part of the swastik. Dikra? Ye wala part. So what is this hand doing? De, aisa. Giving, giver, blessings, Devi Devta, divine souls. Divine souls. Divine. So when we see the pictures, the murti of the Devi Devtas, how is the hand always shown? Always. That's our nature, to give. Even if we see in nature, everything is giving. So even our nature is also to always give, giver. So Satyuk Treta Yuga is divine souls. Every soul is a divine soul. Every soul is like this. Devi Devtas is not a religion. Devi Devtas was a civilization. Civilization. Where every soul was 100% soul consciousness. So purity, divinity, natural sanskar. 
which today we are saying adi sanatan devi devta dharam but that dharam doesn't mean religion as we understand religion now dharam means religion of the soul the quality of the soul was devi devta divinity so when the soul is divine how would the body be the health of the costume perfect and so in satyo no disease and even today khandit murti sthapan nahi karte devi devtaon ke even if there is a little scratch that idol is not used because devi devta costume body was perfect healthy soul perfect body perfect how would environment be bolo bolo so dr vibha satyog environment will be the word is sato pradhan pure harmony it is from here that the world gets created so when the soul is at its highest vibrations environment will be at its highest vibration then no no untimely death so on an average the age span there is about 150 years the soul will leave one costume after 150 years take another one then leave one costume take another one soul power is so high in that era that even communication is with thought power on the planet will be akhand bharat not bharat as what we understand bharat now but the akhand bharat a very big continent now just visualize this journey take yourself to satyog divine soul perfect body perfect environment 150 years later i leave one costume take another one 150 years later i take a costume leave another one and i go on on that journey time is passing i have reached treta yug treta yug hath kaisa hai swastik par chale jao hath kaisa hua niche which means soul on a journey very very gradual soul power starts starts depleting very gradual so treta yuga hand has come down which means my power to give starts reducing in these two yugas satyog and treta yuga we are still 100% soul conscious it will dip a little bit but in today's reference it is still complete soul consciousness morning is over afternoon is over evening has started dwapar yuga dwapar dwait अभी तक क्या था अद्वैत एक राज्य एक धर्म एक भाषा एवरीथिंग वन यूनाइटेड अद्वैत द्वापर युग हाथ किधर गया ऐसे फिर ऐसे फिर ऐसे सतयुग में क्या कर रहे थे द्वापर युग में क्या करना शुरू किया ये कब करना शुरू किया वेन आई द सोल आफ्टर हैविंग लेफ्ट एंड चेंज सो मेनी कॉस्ट्यूम्स आई ग्रेजुअली स्टार्टेड बिलीविंग दैट आई एम द बॉडी एंड दैट्स वेन माई फर्स्ट ट्रेस ऑफ बॉडी कॉन्शियसनेस स्टार्ट एंड दैट्स वेन स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट ट्रेस ऑफ लास्ट ई गोग नथिंग लाइक टूडे नथिंग लाइक टूडे द फर्स्ट ट्रेस द फर्स्ट फर्स्ट ट्रेस टूडे इट इज एट इट स्पीक attachment to five vices kaam krodh lob mo ahankar lust anger greed attachment ego this is when body consciousness starts and so from dwapar yug the copper age pure souls from param dham today we saw in the morning param dham the soul world so souls will come into satyog souls will start coming into treta yog so someone asked this morning how does population go on increasing because all souls are in the soul world and depending on what purity level you take yourself up to you will come at that purity level on the planet so when the purity level on the planet is 100 which is the beginning of satyog every soul who has reached 100% will reach there then some will come little later some will come in treta yog some will come in dwapar yog and will keep coming population will keep increasing population will keep increasing till the end of kaliyog now dwapar yog very very pure souls came on the planet to again bring us back to our dharam 
the dharam of those seven qualities. So all the prophets, all the prophets, 2,500 years back, they did not come to establish religion. They came to teach us religion, religion of the soul. They came to bring us together. But sometimes, instead of connecting to the teaching, we connected to the we connected to the teacher. Had we connected to the teaching, today we would have been like this. But we connected to the teacher and we said, I am different, you are different. And then within that one religion also branches. Because everyone was connecting to different teachers. Reached a stage of Kalyug where today we are ready to war in the name of religion. That's how low. So Kalyug Hath kaisa hai? Satyug Hath kaisa tha? Treta Yug Hath kaisa tha? Dwapar Yug Hath kaisa tha? Kalyug Hath aisa hai? Karu karu. Now just do this together, fatafat. One, two, three, four. And now we've reached Ghor Kalyuk. Ab iske baad ki dar jana hai? That's all. This is why Raj Yuk. Just to become from this to this, this to this. Yehi karna hai sirf, this to this. So we've reached that peak Kalyuk. And so peak emotional health issues, mental health issues, physical disease, environmental health issues. Everything is reaching at its peak and the next few years are going to be tougher. Going to be tougher than what they are today. And so it's very, 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 very important, very important to raise your vibrations. If you don't raise your vibrations, if you are just where you are, the vibrations of the planet are going to take you down. It's like we are in a room here of 500. If all 500 are panicking, stressed and in fear, I don't have to do anything to experience panic and stress. I will just start experiencing it because I'm in a room of 500. But if I want to protect myself from that panic and fear of 500, what will I have to do? What will I have to do? Karo, karo, karo. What will? If I'm at my normal average self, I will get influenced by the vibration of 500 people. But otherwise now what do I have to do? Here. And when I go here, not only that I remain untouched by this vibration of 500, but energy flows from higher to lower. So I start radiating power to that 500. And when I start radiating that power to 500, I am shifting my world. My world means my life, my family, my workplace. I'm shifting it from Kalyuk to Kalyuk to Satyuk just by being a giver, this. So I will have to go higher to become like this. If I'm lower, I'm like this. I want love, I want happiness, I want peace, I want power. Go higher, I give love, I give because I am. So I don't have to give, it just flows from me because I am. So you are not here just to learn power of your mind and to just learn how to be happy. No, no, no. That you can learn anywhere how to be happy. We are here to. We are here to. What is a little chidiya doing? We are here to. So now see, there is a big population who is lowering the vibration of the planet. There is an even bigger population who is just there doing nothing about it. So kuch log aag jala rahe honge. Bahat sare log sirf jalta hua dekh rahe honge. Aur hum kya karenge? Hum sagar se ja kar wo paani bhar ke aag par dalenge. Kaun sa sagar? Kaun sa sagar? Wo hai pyaar ka sagar, shanti ka sagar, shaktiyon ka sagar. So what did we do in our meditation today? I the soul, go to Paramdham, fill myself, come here, like this. So every morning, go to the Sagar, fill yourself and throughout the day and while you're doing that, you're not just creating magic with your life. You're not just creating magic with lives of people around you. You are contributing to shifting the energy of the planet from Kalyuk to Satyuk. 
हाँ मैंने वन टू डू दैट शिफ्ट द वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम कलयुग टू सत्युग अच्छे से हाथ उठा लो फोटो खींच ले दिस इट्स अ बिग अ पर्पज इट्स नॉट जस्ट अ वेरी स्मॉल पर्पज इट्स अ बिग पर्पज इन द कमिंग ईयर्स नोट डाउन दिस डेट टूडे राइट इट विद यू इन द कमिंग ईयर्स यू आर गोइंग टू हैव पीपल अराउंड यू हु वुड जस्ट वॉन्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस वन मिनट ऑफ पीस दे आर गोइंग टू बी इन सो मच पेन दिस इज अ फैक्ट इट इज गोइंग टू हैपन would have been so much pain that even just being around you if they can experience one minute of peace you've given them some you've given like water to somebody who's just so so just raising your vibration is not going to benefit only you it is going to heal so many souls and it's going to change the world so it's a tipping point that we have to reach we don't need 800 million people to shift towards satyuk we don't need so many people it's called the tipping point when a certain small number of people raise their vibration they have the power to change the vibration of the entire planet so ready ready so from today add one more sankalp i am a satyogi soul i am a satyogi soul so we are going to live in kalyug and create satyog and that is why when we look at the devi devtas they are shown sitting or standing on a lotus flower how can anybody sit or stand on a lotus flower it's always giving us a meaning it is saying what does a lotus flower do it's there in the muck and yet it is untouched so our life has to be like that lotus flower we are not going to leave the world we are not going to leave anything we're going to be right there in the lowest energy but untouched untouched and that's why that early morning amrit vela meditation is for taking yourself higher throughout the day being a giver giver means when someone doesn't behave right with me i don't create hurt if i create hurt i have taken their vibration but if i say it's okay i understand you are in pain i radiate power to you i'm like this so in every situation either i consume energy from the situation on the person or i give energy to the situation and person there's no other third option either i consume or i give so now when you return from here on monday whether it is at home whether it is at work whether it is with friends you are going to shift from to becoming a to becoming a giver and as you give your vibration goes higher so this is the seva that is needed now so when you see so many brothers and sisters here and we saw yesterday they're not being paid there's no promotion there's nothing what is their incentive here why are they so happy in life when they're not getting anything because they know they know that they are playing the role of that little sparrow and that's why they are very happy very happy only because they have tuned their frequency from this to this and anyone who shifts their frequency being a giver not just in the outside world being a giver here when anyone shifts their vibration to being a giver then automatically their vibration goes higher they don't need anything from the lower energy planet to feel happy don't need so you will continue working you will continue achieving you will continue excelling you will continue earning but you will not need any of those to be happy you will be happy and continue working achieving excelling empowering dynamic changes so it shifts from imagine shifting from this to becoming a acha lag raha hai ke wohi wala acha tha aise wala kaun sa wala acha hai so in every scene in every scene in every situation in every relationship with every person i am not this i am this pass i am a satyogi soul so tonight before going to sleep again sit with your diary for 5 minutes check any soul you know who is in pain write with their name i understand you i accept your journey i heal you i bless you and write that power they need this diary is only going to be for this purpose even after monday ghar ka hisab kitab nahi likhna ye diary ke andar kabhi kabhi nahi this diary will only be for our spiritual homework 
How many of you all did your sankalps yesterday? Affirmations? Very good. With the meals? Before going to sleep? Morning? How many were here for 4.15? Very good. How's the experience? Very good. And Tuesday onwards, what time will we wake up? Everything we're doing here is not a three days retreat. It's not a three days retreat. It is changing from a Kalyogi soul to a Satyogi soul. Three types of people are Yogi, Bhogi and Rogi. Yogi, Bhogi and Rogi. So Yogi soul. Suffering wale nahi. Dene wale. Chalo. 30 seconds. Straight. Now we should be able to do this quickly. Like we were doing our eyes exercise yesterday, no? blink, look here, look there. This is also just a gentle exercise. We are not going to do this only in the morning. We are not going to do this only before going to sleep. We are going to do it just any time. Morning, about to drive, take a 10 second pause, do this exercise, then start your car. Beginning a meeting, 30 second pause. I the soul, I am a Satyogi soul, I am a giver, I radiate power. Today's meeting, everyone accepts and understands each other. The decision we create today will shift the world to Satyog. Create this thought and then start the meeting. Just 30 seconds of right thinking. When I change my thought, my consciousness changes. So morning, night, every hour, just before a meal, just before a task, just before a meeting, just before a phone call, 30 seconds, 20 seconds. That's all that it needs for me to shift to the highest vibration of divinity. I am a Satyogi soul. My vibrations are healing the planet. I am shifting the world towards the highest energy. This is the purpose of my life. Please remain in this silence for five minutes more. Take this five minutes to check your sun's scars any sanskar you were not understanding about yourself or about family, you can do this healing now. If anybody needs to take a five minutes break, then use this time. 5.45 sharp. We have a very senior brother of the organization, Suraj Paiji, who will take us deeper into this, the power of meditation. So don't get into conversation in these five minutes. Keep that vibration. Either we need a break for five minutes or we'll be here in this silence. Do your inner work. We don't need to check the phone in this five minutes. Don't need to every time repeatedly connect to Kalyuk. Keep yourself at that higher energy.
Om Shanti. I don't know if I'm audible outside, but uh, uh, Suraj Bhai Ji is here, so the faculty is here. So if you can all come in, it would be really nice. And we can start the session right away. And once again, I repeat myself, those who are sitting behind, if you can come in front. Suraj Bhai is our most powerful yogi, Tapasvi. So please take benefit, please come in front. It really looks nice when you're all sitting here. Please come in front. Thank you so much. Those who are sitting that side, please come in front. Don't worry that you would be occupying other people's seats. They'll find another seat for themselves. So please come in front. Thank you.